Well, good morning and welcome to Fridays with the Dean from Holy Trinity Cathedral. Uh, I'm Anne Mills, the Dean, and uh, as always, it's good to be with you on this Friday, the 4th of uh, September. One of the things that I've found helpful during this year um, and have been practicing as daily meditation usually just for five or ten minutes each day. Many outside the church would call it mindfulness. However, the ancient practice of Christian meditation helps us seek and find the sacred amidst our everyday. Sitting still and contemplating God's goodness is time well spent and certainly supports this spiritual goal. There are many benefits to meditating. Being aware of God's presence brings emotional healing. It aids in cultivating gratitude. It highlights the goodness of God and allows us to experience transformation. One of the biggest benefits of meditation is that we learn to pause before reacting. This skill carries over into the rest of our life and pausing becomes a habit. It provides just enough margin to check in with God and remember to take thoughts captive, encourage one another and keep our conversations full of grace. As 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 and Colossians chapter 4 verse 6 all remind us. In this way, learning to pause helps grow our relationship with God, with others and even ourselves. Our mind is often going in many thought directions while our bodies are performing their other tasks on autopilot. The following simple short meditation that I am going to offer you this morning allows us to reconnect the mind and body, to pause and ground and centre ourselves. This short meditation helps train the mind to notice and be aware without demanding a reaction. This is very helpful outside of meditation when we encounter an emotional situation or when we are ready to fall asleep at bedtime. So before we start uh, this meditation, which I know is a little bit different and you might think, oh, what's the Dean doing? But can I encourage you to give it a go with me this morning and just see whether pausing for a moment and being still and conscious of your own body and the presence of God within you, around you, uh, is helpful for you. And so before we start, I'll give you a moment to get yourselves comfortable somewhere where you can sit still in a relatively quiet space. It's good to have your feet in a comfortable position, maybe on the ground. You might like to rest your hands gently on your lap or on your knees. You might find it helpful to close your eyes or to soften your gaze. So get yourselves comfortable, feet on the ground, hands on your lap or on your knees. I invite you just to start this meditation by breathing naturally, to become conscious of your breath. As you become conscious of your breath, breathing in and breathing out, close your eyes and become conscious of your breath.
want you to notice both of your ankles as you continue inhaling and exhaling. Notice your feet anchored on the ground. Holding you firmly. Notice your ankles. And now direct your attention to your calves. Slowly move up to your knees. Then your thighs. And your hips. Now bring your awareness to the full length of your spine. Right up the neck. And to the top of your head. Notice your shoulders. The tops of your arms. And all the way down to your wrists. And your fingers. Now notice your abdomen. And bring an awareness to your inward organs. Be aware of your heart. And your lungs. the front of your throat and your windpipe. And now bring awareness to the entire body all at once. From the tip of your toes to the top of your head. And know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. fearfully and wonderfully made in God's image. Rest in that knowing for a few moments as you inhale and exhale your breath.
and as you become conscious of your breathing, open your eyes as you are ready and bring yourself back into the room. So just in a short minute or so, I hope you, like me, feel more relaxed, more centred and more calm. And of course you can repeat this activity and extend out the lengths of time as you move through the different parts of your body, becoming conscious of each part of your fearfully and wonderfully made body which is made in God's image. So I hope you found that helpful. However, sometimes this spiritual practice, which is one of many, takes time to develop and for one to be comfortable with it. So don't give up. Uh, even if you pause for a few times a day uh, and stop, and take a few breaths and recenter yourself in God's presence. Even this practice of stopping, pausing and taking a few deep breaths is healing and helpful and centers us and calms us. There are many different sorts of med Christian meditation practices and this one is just a very simple beginning practice that is often helpful to begin and end your day out at, or to do at any time when you feel like you just need to stop and bring yourself back into your own body and into the presence of God with you. Just uh, a couple of notices before I finish. Uh, next week the office will be open from 9 till 3, but of course the cathedral will remain closed. Once we have heard and digested the government's announcement later today about alert levels, we will make some decisions about worship events and activities at the cathedral and we'll communicate this with you through an email or our website and our Facebook early next week. Please don't hesitate to contact one of us. Vetsa and I are available on our cell phones or via email, as are all the office staff. So until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and bring you peace this day and always. Amen.